this was a surprise uh, on one of the recent SATs that I viewed. Um, just amazing to know that they're asking this. It's really easy if you're prepared for it, really tough if you're not prepared for it. So we know it's a parabola. A parabola is gonna be in the format of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And if it passes through the, the five zero, that's our easiest point. If you plug in zero for y and five for x, then you get zero equals 25A plus 5B plus C. Then we can plug in the next point, six and four. Four equals A times six squared plus B times six plus C. So simplifying through, four equals 36A plus 6B plus C. And then for the last one, we've got five equals a times 10 squared plus b times 10 plus c. So simplifying through 100a plus 10b plus c. Now the example I saw on an actual SAT was a tiny bit on the easier side, uh, but we can still do this. We can just, we have three equations and three variables, so we can take little steps to make sure that they cancel out. Like for instance, I can multiply this equation by negative one. Negative four equals minus 36a minus 6b minus c. And then bring that right over here. Negative four, negative 36a, negative 6b minus c. And we can just go ahead and add straight down. One equals 64a plus 4b. And we've gotten rid of one variable. Now we can do the same thing, let's say with, uh, let's take this equation and bring it down here now. Negative four equals negative 36a minus 6b minus c. Negative four equals negative 11a minus b, and the c's cancel out. So right now, we have a nice system of equation with two equations and two variables. So it'll solve nice and easily. So I can multiply this one maybe by four to get the b's to cancel out. So negative 16 equals negative 44a minus 4b. Plug that back into the other one. Negative 16 equals negative 44a minus 4b. And negative 15 equals 20a. And we finally have one of the answers. a equals uh, 15 divided by 20, which is negative 4 over 3. So knowing that a is negative four over three, you can plug that back into either of your equations that have two variables. Now, the, the similar uh, question to this on the SAT actually had this number right here being zero and this number right here being a number. So that made it so much easier. So this process of solving for three variables, you never have to do because the X gets zeroed out in one of the situations. So this example is a lot harder. So as long as you know the idea of plugging in the different combinations of x's and y's you'll notice that it solves it'll solve much easier this is kind of extra advanced for the math olympians out there so we've got one equals 64 now i'm just plugging in the negative four thirds that we got one equals 64 times negative four thirds which is the value of a plus 4b and we can go ahead and solve that out 64 times negative four over three is negative 85.3 one equals negative 85 and a third plus 4b. So adding that to both sides, here you'll have 86 and a third equals 4b. And you can divide by 4. And you'll get 21.583 repeated. So getting some crazy numbers here. But they are numbers nonetheless. So now we can plug back into any of the original equations, the a that we know and the b that we know. 25a plus 5b plus c. So as complicated as that looks, we have only one variable to solve for, so it's solvable. So I've got zero equals 
three repeated plus C. So C comes out to the negative of that number. So like I said, know that you need to plug in these three numbers into the X and Y pairing. So here we had one X and Y pairing. Here we had another X and Y pairing. And here we had a third X and Y pairing. And know that that'll set you up to be able to solve. Thank you.